Hey everyone, this is Sally Mae with Silhouette Secrets Plus, and today I have a quick video on showing you how to combine two designs. This is what we are going to end up with, with a star frame that is cut out of this disco ball. I will put a link to this disco ball SVG in the description below. This was a question on my Facebook group, so I'm just going to create a little video to show how to do it. So. I have the SVG, when I open it, this SVG is all separate pieces. So these little stars are individual. If you open an SVG and it was not, you could try to ungroup it. I'm going to move this little star over here because we don't want it to interfere. And then what I'm going to do is I have my star, which I simply drew from my flexi shapes and adjusted it as desired. And I'm going to bring this over here into the top right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my star to select it. I'm going to hold the shift key down on my keyboard and I'm going to click on the disco ball. I'm going to open the modify panel on the right hand side, which is the rectangle with the little circle out of the corner of it. And I'm going to choose subtract all. If I choose subtract, which we can do and I can show you undo here. If I choose subtract, it's going to, oh, two objects were not selected. So I'm gonna click on this, hold my shift key down, make sure both of your objects are selected. And then if I hit subtract, it's actually going to take the star away from me. You can use this, but make sure to make a copy of the star first, and then you have to put it back. If I click Control Z to undo, I want this star back here. So I'm just gonna place it over top of where I'd like it to be. And then I'm going to click on the star, hold my shift key down, click on the disco ball. I'm going to use subtract all here, and then I can click off to deselect and move this away and you can see that the star is subtracted. I'm gonna click Control Z to undo. And then what I need to do with the star is I want to make this a frame and then I want to weld that frame to the globe or the disco ball. I'm going to select the star, come over to my offset panel and then you wanna click on offset and you wanna select an offset that will work for your design. And if you are cutting this, will be cuttable. So you don't want something that's too thin. I have rounded corners currently on my star. I'm simply gonna choose the sharp corner option. And then I can adjust this corner limit down here. And that's going to give me my pointed corners. And if needed, I can adjust my distance. For this example, that's going to work. And click apply. And then your offset is selected. With the offset selected, hold shift down, click on the purple star or whatever color star yours is. With just the offset and the star selected, right click and choose make compound path. And then I'm going to fill this with a color so you can see it. So I currently have this blue on top of the globe. If I move this off, you can see that the star is empty. So we punched out the middle star from the outer star. Control Z to undo. The reason I did this offset is then the design is overlapping of your disco ball. So with the star frame selected, hold the shift key down and click on the disco ball. Right click and choose weld. And now you have your star design that is combined with your disco ball. If I move this off here, you can see that it is see-through behind it. So I'm just gonna hit Control Z to undo. Now let's take this one step farther because the example that was shown also had a background layer to it. So if you wanna create a background layer of the entire design, I'm going to press the Alt key, my cursor changes to a plus sign, or you could just Control C and Control V to make a copy and paste. There's about 10 different ways to copy and paste in Silhouette Studio. My favorite is the keyboard shortcut, the Alt key or Option on a Mac. I'm going to then change this to a line color of red. And this is just to help us see it better when we go through the next steps. I'm going to change the fill color to transparent. If I don't, then it's going to end up with an all black blob. So this makes it easier to see when we right click and choose release compound path. 
When it does this, it releases all of these little pieces are now individual pieces. So they can be selected and deleted. Or in this case, all I need is this outer frame. So I'm going to pull this over here to the right hand side. I'm going to fill this with a color so you can see, and then I could move it over top. It is over top because it was our last action, so it is on top currently. If I right click and choose send to back, it's going to make that a background color. And then you would just want to make sure to select the background is selected currently, hold shift down and select your top layer and then just center that. So you make sure that it's completely centered and you can select everything and control G to group and now it is one object. So whether you want that background color, a different color as well or not, you now have all the steps you need to take two shapes and combine them together. Please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Make sure to check out the video description below as well for additional information and resources. Thanks for watching and have a great day.